And I'm sure a lot of you got back into air rifle shooting or maybe even started it for the first time during lockdown as just something fun to do at home. Now, I must admit, it did create a bit of a resurgence in my interest and this air rifle was one of the uh, several, no, couple, that I purchased during that time. I say couple because Mrs. Vending watches these videos. Now, what is it? Is it a PCP? No. Is it BB? No. So it's not airsoft? No. Well, what is it? It's a brake barrel. Air rifle. Okay. So what's it chambered in? It says 5.56 on the barrel. Nope. 177. Is it any good? Oh, it's brilliant. It's so much fun, it's untrue. What is it then? It's the Umarex M4 Colt. Do they still make it? No, they discontinued it, sorry to say. But if you can find one second hand, then you should buy one because they're great. So, this being me, have I fiddled with it? Yes, I have. A standard, they come with a flip-up plastic rear sight, which fits onto the Picatinny rail. Wasn't a fan of it. So I ordered this aluminium carry handle rear sight. Now this is an airsoft style rear sight, but apparently it's good for uh, center fires as well. And it certainly seemed to be okay on this little gun so far. What else? Slaying from Soldier of Fortune. I'm not 100% sure if it's quite accurate, but you know what? Does the trick for me. What else? Magazine. Plastic on the original. So I bought a knackered airsoft metal magazine. From eBay, slight modifications, fits. And the gun does still cock with that magazine in. If you went any longer, if you went for a 30 round replica magazine, the gun won't cock because the barrel will hit it. And you'd only be taking the magazine out each time you fire the gun. So, to shoot, brake barrel air rifle. I'm not gonna patronize you. Safety, is that just plastic molded? No, nope. genuinely works. Works very well, good safety catch. What's the trigger like? It's okay. It's all right. There's not a hugely defined feel to it, I have to say. But because of how you're holding the gun, you can kind of compensate for that and you don't really need to feel when it when the shot goes off. It would be better for safety if you could, but do you know what? We're only fun shooting this. Well, I say that. So does it really matter as long as you're sensible, as long as you're safe. No, not really. And it's not heavy, it's not obstructive, it's a nice trigger. You just pull through the break point. Simple as that. And that's probably because of how far down below the actual cylinder the, the trigger is. Something to watch out for just while you're shooting. Make sure that the little screw uh, is not going to focus on it. I'm not surprised. Anyway, just take my word for it, there is a screw at the bottom of the pistol grip and that is what actually holds the um, action of the air rifle into the stock at the back. Just keep checking that, make sure it's still tight because if that does come loose the plastic will crack and then you've got a wall hanger. So I mentioned about fun shooting which would imply that the air rifle isn't accurate. Actually it's accurate. It's a very good gun. Now the Palette of choice, again, believe it or not, is Prossman Premier Match 177 Flathead. Same as the HW98, does really well. So a few more features of the gun. Unlike the Crossman M16 replica, the barrel is not shrouded in plastic. This is steel that's actually been turned down to give you the correct shape 
of the M4 barrel. Brilliant. I mean, you know, that's just, that's the Humorex touch here as well, where the sight goes. Picatinny rails all over the place on the gun. And these covers actually slide off to give you more. Now, I'm not sure quite why you'd want that. Torches and stuff, but when you consider it's a brake barrel and you need to hold on to that, then, uh, yeah, probably not such a good idea. Butt stuck. Telescope. Telescopic. I need it all the way out to fit my lanky frame. Things like the uh, shell deflector dust shield there. Yeah, it's molded plastic. The uh, All these controls here, molded plastic again. Safety catch is not ambidextrous, bit of a shame. I did wonder if there's a way of doing it. I'm sure there must be. Perhaps using airsoft components, something like that. Magazine release button here, push, there she comes. Yep, nice. I have got a airsoft aluminium version of that that I'm looking at how I can fit onto this, just because I just can't resist fiddling with guns. But yeah, overall, I really like it. I do really like it. It's a great little gun. Would I buy one again? Yeah, I very really would. So, to sum up, if you can buy one second hand, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Well worth it. I really like mine, I have to say.